hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to find and recover deleted facebook messenger messages this is very very important a lot of people have a lot of mail a lot of notifications so sometimes they simply delete something that they shouldn't first of all let's click on the messenger app itself next step you want to click on the top left corner when you see the three straight lines you click on them and then you click on the fourth option which is archive when you click on archive here you will be able to find all the messages comments including from stories from uh, your friends posts something that you comment something that you interact something that you send even messages that you removed from facebook marketplace for example somebody list something that you want to buy you had questions for you message you bought the item or you you simply didn't add uh, more interest with it you delete the message the message will be simply here you can scroll down and you will find messages that are here uh, since at least 2020 2021 uh, this is very very important because in any case if you simply had a communication that you deleted and this communication should be here in the archive if you had uh, uh, old communication chat messages comments that you did not delete this simply will be on the history on the feed and it will not be in the archive so if you guys are looking for something over here you can simply hold on the actual messages in the archive and restore the message back to the location where it appeared first this means that if you comment something on uh, facebook marketplace by clicking restore the comment will go back if you comment on someone else's story the comment will go back and reappear on the story itself chats and and any other example of communication that you previously had and you delete it manually will appear here and will be able to be simply recovered from here subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to unblock people on facebook first of all let's launch the facebook app you want to go all the way down to the right corner where you see your profile picture you click on it then you want to go all the way up where is the gear icon to the top right corner you click on the gear icon then you want to scroll all the way down where you actually see blocking it's almost in the middle of the screen right before the payment section you click on blocking and now you will have a list of pages and people that you block uh, all you gotta do it's on the right side you will have the button to unblock them very important once when you block someone that person can no longer see things that you post either on your timeline when you tag someone or someone tag you on image or photo uh, you know also invites for friends in the events or groups uh, conversation that you're starting events your your uh, important celebrations still will not be available after you unblock them simply means that they will be able to start seeing all of your content even the previous content that you publish for example if you block someone last month and this month you unblock this person the moment when you unblock the person or the page uh, they will be simply able to see not only today's content after you unblock them but all the content that previously was published by you so you want to make sure that you are aware of that uh, also quick note this doesn't include apps games or groups you both participate in this means that even if you block someone and if you guys are part of the same app part of the same game part of the same group you're still going to see each other which is the downside of the app so you want to make sure that keep this in mind uh, you want to make sure that if there is a particular picture or event or a video that you block a person that you don't want him or her to see it now you have to unblock them for a variety of reasons know work or or whatsoever the moment when you unblock them they can go back and see on a particular date what did you actually post or where you actually went so if you still want to hide particular content uh, you want to make sure that you go back to the content and you change the visibility 
you can change who can see this picture or this video and you can filter to particular people of your friend list okay still you go there you put the people that you don't want to see the picture or the video then you want to go back and then unblock them subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to uninstall facebook messenger on iphone first thing first you want to click on the messenger and this time around i want you to hold your finger on the actual icon you want to hold on it and you will have the option to remove the app clicking on the remove app doesn't mean that you're going to automatically remove the messenger and delete the messenger this will simply give you a two options in which option number one will be to delete the app which essentially means that you're going to uninstall the app and the app will no longer be on the device or option number two which is remove from the whole screen which essentially means that the shortcut for messenger will no longer appear but the app still will be installed and still will be on the back end of the actual software so you want to make sure that you know exactly what you want to achieve do you want just to hide the shortcut icon from the actual start menu or you want to uninstall the app itself this is very very important there is a major difference in between so you want to make sure that you click on the option that actually suits you because there is a vast difference if you delete by mistake you have to go back to the ios app store and you have to download again and then you have to input your login and password <laughs> so if you really want to delete it you want to make sure you have saved up your password and login information because at some point you might simply want to go back and log in or download the app subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to log out from messenger facebook has been doing a lot of updates and changes and things are getting more and more complicated it is harder and harder to find the actual menu so let's dive in first of all let's launch the messenger app now you want to go on the top left corner where you have the three stripes you click on them then when you have your account page pull on the side you want to click on the gear icon when you click on the gear icon you will go into your settings you want to scroll all the way down when you're all the way down on the account center meta you want to click on see more account center when you're here you want to click on password and security it's almost at the end of the menu when you click on password and security you have the option to see security checks this will help you to review the security issues and where you actually log in which devices you log in which emails and how you can actually log out from some of those devices or pages or websites so you click on where you're currently logged in here you will find all the accounts that you currently log in you will see which account is associated with what device for example you have a tablet you have a laptop and you have uh, another phone that are all currently logged in into your account very important this function will also show you all the linked accounts for example if you're running a couple of different instagram pages and if you link these pages with Facebook, and I bet you already did, well, you will have the option to actually remove the devices that are currently logged in, either on the Facebook account, on Messenger account, or on Instagram account. This is very helpful because you will be able to change your settings once for all of the accounts at the same time. You don't have to go individually on Instagram settings or Facebook settings or here in this particular case with Messenger settings. But as you saw, it is getting harder and harder and they try to essentially hide this particular function. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised if uh, future you might not be able to delete your account uh, and you have to send an email with the inquiry for you to get your account deleted. It will not uh, be an option for you manually to click delete my account or deactivate my account this is my expectation and my own personal opinion subscribe to the channel guys and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to unsend messages on messenger 
first thing you want to do you want to launch the messenger app and for this example i choose to send a message to meta ai meta ai is the newest chatbot system that actually supports and provides help services for people that essentially experiencing issues on the platform so this is how you're gonna go about it i'm gonna say hi meta right and i can press and hold on my personal message so i can actually unsend the message and there is a two different options option number one is unsend the message for everyone meaning that the person that you send the message to will not receive the message and you're not going to have the message on your message box either the second option is only unsend for you meaning that the person will receive the message will, re will read the message could reply to the message but on your side will simply be an empty box we'll have a small uh, line which it says message unsend let me show you so as you can see over here this message will be unsent for you other chat members will still be able to see it this is why they will be able to reply to you you see they're still replying to us but we actually unsend the message so it looks like they're communicating uh, between each other they're not talking to us because we simply delete the middle connection of the message this is how you can go about it please guys Pay very close attention what you actually trying to achieve. There is a huge difference between unsent message from your site and unsent message for everyone. Because if you sent a message and they receive the message and you see that they saw the message, you cannot unsend the message for everyone. The only thing you could do in this case is just to unsend the message for you. Uh, which I don't know might work in some cases for you. Just to not have it on your site, on your own history. But this is how you're going to go about it. This is why you have to act fast when you send a message by mistake. For example, text to someone that you shouldn't. Uh, you know, mistakes happen. Sometimes the, the, the messenger is so slow. And you, you click on one profile, but it opens another. So this is why you're going to be very fast. If you're slow, then you have to unsend for your site and then message to the other person, you know, explaining that this is a mistake. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn off end-to-end -end encryption on the Messenger app. This is very important video guys, you want to make sure that you follow very closely so you don't make any mistake. Let's launch the Messenger app right now. The first thing that you want to do guys is you want to click on the top left corner where you see the three straight lines. When you're at your settings, I want you to click on the gear icon. When you're at the settings of your messenger, I want you to click on privacy and safety. Okay, follow up very closely. Now, if you scroll down to the section that is called security, the second option will be end-to-end -end encrypted chats. Over here, all we gotta do is to click on the option that is called security alerts. When you're over here, all we gotta do is to click this off. This is contacts keys change okay this simply shows alert in chat when contact keys are changed so essentially this will disable and will turn off end-to-end -end encryption in the messenger app this is very very careful guys i hope you follow step by step very important video uh, i cannot advise you to turn this off you might have reasons for it uh, i always keep my own this is very very important for more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can share a TikTok video on Messenger app. Very very easy guys. Let's launch the TikTok app and find the video that we want to share. Let's say you saw this video, you find it interesting and you want to send it to some of your friends on Messenger. You want to click on the arrow under the comment section. And then you want to click on the section over here, which is with the icon of Messenger. Very easy, guys. Very simple. They will get a link from the actual TikTok and they will be able to watch the video even if they don't have a TikTok account. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deactivate your Messenger. First of all, let's launch the app. First thing that you want to look is on the top left corner, you see the three stripes, you want to click on them. Then you're going to launch the profile picture and you want to click on the right side where is the gear icon. 
when you click on the gear icon you will be brought to your original page settings here you want to scroll the way here you want to scroll all the way down and you click on account centers when you click on account center the most important part is the second part of the menu which is essentially personal details you want to click on personal details and then you will be brought to the completely new menu where is the personal details account ownership and control you want to click on account ownership and control and the following menu will lead you to the decision making process deactivation or deletion this is where you can actually choose to deactivate or delete your account and you can simply choose what is going to be the future of your messenger let's click on deactivation or deletion and let's see what are the remaining options and how you can actually proceed because remember it is very important for you to make the right decision there is a vast difference between deleting or deactivating your account remember all the conversations that you currently have on your messenger all the files that you shared or were shared with you will be lost if you delete your account if you just deactivate your account you can select a time frame three five six weeks five months whatever then you can actually go back and start using the messenger again now when you click on deactivation and deletion or deletion you will see all the accounts associated with this particular login this means that you might see a facebook accounts we might see an instagram pages all the accounts that you associated and linked with this particular messenger login will appear here and then you can make your decision should i simply deactivate or delete all of them or should i deactivate or delete one of them uh, again make sure that you're aware where you're clicking and what's going to be the end result i want to make sure that you keep all the data all the information prior you make your final decision subscribe and come back for more